Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I have a few things that I want to show you that I'm very excited about, and uh, let me let me hop out of my chair. <laughs> uh, all right. So first things first, let's let's go to this. This I'm very very excited about. Uh, this is a genuine, um, uh, you know. Well, I'll show you. <laughs> the words are escaping my mind right now. The lag is real, by the way. The lag is real. This game is so much fun, though. I, I really was a little hesitant at first, but check this out. Look at this. Yep, we made ourselves a chain. Now, th there's a real trick to it. Oh, that was a good swing right there. Um, this crane uses... Let's just drop down here. So you can tell there's a bunch of examples here. And let me let me bust out the hammer. Look at this. All right, so this one's not going to fall down, okay? Uh, hit it, man. There you go. Uh, these ones will spin. And to get this uh, was very not easy. <laughs> let me show you what I mean. Uh, the best way to do this is to go up about five or six, I think. Uh, well, any number. Any number that allows you to break um, the outside numbers, like the outside blocks like that, okay? And the really the really difficult problem here is, and let me remove this real quick, just so I, just so I can show you. Uh, three is going to be too, too small, okay? Uh, it has to be an odd number, and anybody that plays Minecraft, knows what I'm talking about and then uh, the second one your, your second one you'll start here go up like this and it has to be at least one block above with at least um, one block out this way okay it has to and when you're selecting where to put the blocks make sure to select aimed I don't know if you can see my crosshairs right there but I am aimed right on that one and going down so that it connects to that one. Now, when you remove the blocks, it makes it very simple to just get rid of these ones. So you're making your ring, and then you remove that block, right? Uh, everything is still connected, except it's only connected in this one block. So when I do this, whoops, ah, poop, <laughs> uh, that one, now it's free. And the only reason this bottom one doesn't move, see, watch, boom, boom, come on, there you go. Uh, the only reason the bottom one doesn't move is because it's attached to the ground. So when you're uh, making these, it becomes very difficult because you have to make sure that you have that extra space on top and it's in the center. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to separate them, okay? Th that's why I have a bunch of these. Uh, some of these, not as easy, and they come apart pretty pretty swiftly uh, another thing that I want to show you that's extremely fun if you just want to goof off uh, this thing now I know it <laughs> I had to put a lock on it uh, this thing has uh, sensors uh, all around and you can you'll see that there's a couple chairs now originally when I made this there were no chairs but my friend Cassers who a lot of people know from Ark and uh, the my midcraft series as well she did one as well and that's where we met originally. We've been friends for a while now. And uh, she she came over. And we, oh my gosh, we laughed so hard. So this thing, the seats aren't uh, connected to anything. The only thing that powers these engines are the sensors. See? So the fun part about this is when this thing doesn't stop moving. There's sensors on all sides. Each sensor is connected to one engine. Uh, same on this side. Uh, that side, not so much, I think. I think I have it set so that this one is connected to those two. This one's connected to those two, and those two, and those two. And, oh my gosh. So the only way to keep it to, from moving is either put it on a lift or, you know, build something like this. And that's what I did. Um, I'm not going to go into that because it doesn't work. Uh, let's see. This thing is a work in progress. What I've been trying to do... I'll do this, hop up here, uh, let's see if I can't get on top of this thing. So, this is uh, your kind of standard transformer. Let me let me back back down. Um, 
you know, these wheels come out this way. These wheels turn in uh, so that it can change directions. And on the top here, uh, whoop. All right. So I have a sensor there, 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 and there. And this sensor connects to those two. This one connects to those two. This one, those two, and that one, those two. Now, the way this works is I wanted to make it so that I didn't have to hit any buttons, but unfortunately, you still have to do something. So if I do that, it moves this way. And then you just remove it. Uh, so that's that's pretty much how that one works. Now, the sad part about this is, and like I said, work in progress, uh, this one here is actually connected to the controller to trigger it so that when I want to move these ones, the other wheels come out. And this, this is my favorite one. This is an elevator. I have created an elevator. It's very simple. Uh, there's probably a little too much power on it. Um, there still needs to be a little bit more development, but I thought I'd put it out there now. Um, what I've done is I've created a, a regular floor with all, you know, nine, uh, <laughs> nine rockets on it that you, you really don't need that many. And then uh, all of them are synced up to this sensor. I also put out, um, you have to make this little box here, make sure that this, these wood uh, planks aren't attached to this at all. So these go all the way up, and then at the very top here, uh, you have that level there, and that is to stop you from going too far. Now you can put that really high up, however high up you want to go. Uh, the, and like I said, a little bit of a work in progress. Um, we should probably add this. That might help a little bit, and I can do this as well. Now this will... Um, prevent you from flying out completely uh, being that this is just one sensor it it kind of glitches a little bit I don't know why it's not moving now should totally so the way it's supposed to work is it flies up and uh, this part here oh this, no yeah this part here these two blocks hit that one uh, preventing you from going any further and right out the the whole thing. Come on, man. Like I said, a little bit of a work in progress, but you can tell that we are going indeed all the way up. There we go. Um, I think what I need to do is bring it down to just a very simple um, 3x3 or something like that. So I can remove all that. Um, trying to walk through it isn't going to work. Uh, so yeah, that that's kind of it guys I hope you enjoyed some of these I hope you get some ideas from these and I'd love to see what you're able to do with it uh, if you have any suggestions is something you'd like to see uh, me do I'm kinda tempted to start working with uh, making designs now because everyone's got all these crazy mechanical stuff and I'm really good at it uh, and I, I love playing with it but I think I want to start doing some design work so you guys can see uh, the possibilities where you can actually make circles in in the game you can it is possible uh, well more or less um, you can make domes it's not easy but you can and that comes from a minecraft background and that's kind of the best advice I can give you when creating circles uh, they won't be connected for the most part but you know I can do uh, let's see two three four five five and then uh yeah see this won't this won't be connected but at least it's a circle <laughs> uh if like i said if you enjoyed the series please uh make sure to give a little like down there it helps me know that i'm doing something right and you can always subscribe for more daily videos as always guys stay groovy boop